unleash the power of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. A Ugandan MP named Sarah Achiang was shocked to find out that the U.S. Embassy denied her visa because, well, they're not admitting it, but that is the reason that she said that they've denied her. They denied her because of the LGBTQ bill that she supported in Parliament. If you remember last year, Uganda passed an LGBTQ bill. Now it's a law. We will have our morals. We will protect our children. And we are making this law. We are making this law for ourselves. We are making this law for our children. We are making this law for the children of our children. This country will stand firm. And once it passed, I can tell you, Madam Speaker, we are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. Oh, we stand. She was shocked specifically because 96% of the MPs voted for this bill to be passed and she was one of them. So she said there were others that voted for the bill that were given the US visa but her she was denied so she was not clear on why exactly they targeted her she was traveling to New York to attend a UN meeting the 68th session of the commission on the status of women so that was the meeting that she was going to attend and they denied her visa but this is not the first time the US has done this the US and the UK denied visa us to the parliamentary speaker Anita and their family members as well so this is not the first time they are doing this this is their way of punishment right you cannot come to the US if you supported this bill or if you're not doing what we're telling you to do if you don't bow down this is your punishment but the best answer to that is what President Museveni said he said I don't want to go to the US the, the issue of the law we passed of the homosexuals. Some of the foreigners are making a lot of, wasting their time. They try to put pressure on us. Well, pressure, if you don't do this, we shall not give, we shall not allow you to, to, to go to America. I don't want to go to America. I go to America as, as, a, as a, a favor to the Americans that I have come to visit you. Because here, what, what am I lacking here? Here, how can I go to America to do what? Eh? This is the most comfortable place on earth. So these people, these people, uh, but, but the, 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 all that arrogance, all that arrogance of the foreign countries is because of not listening to the sermon of the, of, the, of the preacher of today. Because if we don't use our talents fully, then we go into all those problems of begging, of borrowing, of, of that. This, this way it all starts. Let's use our talents fully. As the Bible says, we shall be lenders, not borrowers. That's what it says. It is in the Bible. So when you say that we are borrowing, we are begging, it is because we are not doing what the Bible told us to do. Uh, Self-sufficiency. We have the capacity. We don't lack anything. The economy is growing now. It's growing very well, inflation, in spite of the problems which are still there, in spite of the corruption which is still there, but the economy is growing very well. We have got the lowest inflation rate, you check. One of the lowest in the world, and yet we have not done as much as we, as we can. So therefore, don't be intimidated by all these fellows. If they don't, anybody who doesn't want to respect our uh, sovereignty, uh, 
tumusabira bye bye katonda kubere now finally the kanyangi kenyangi kanyangi the our muslim people I challenged the, the, the Muslim leaders who came to see me because they say they don't want to touch our PDM money and our Mioga money because there is riba, 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 what they call riba is amagoba, is amagoba, amagoba, profit, profit. But I explained to the, some of the people I met, this, is, this money, PDM money, Emioga money, is grants from the government. Government ever what day? It's not a loan to you. It, it is a grant to the circle, to your... To your, to your to your parish, parish circle or to your mioga. It's a grant from the government. Now, within yourselves, you lend. But the money is yours. Again, the government or Ramu. Sentence again, the government or again, the government. Now, we told you don't put big profit. Big, big uh, interest on that money, but put interest which will cover inflation because you know there is inflation. This is how politicians should respond to this kind of threats. I understand it's unfair and unlawful for them to just deny you for a reason that is not lawful. Like at the end of the day, there are rules, there are international laws that all of us need to follow, right? If each country needs to follow, but for some reason, you know, all they need is to have a feeling about you or not like you or want to punish you. That is not the right way to go about it. And I understand why the MPs might feel frustrated, but at the end of the day, it's their country you have to expect this while you are standing up for what you believe in and move on. But she is calling it out and she is sharing her shock with the world by giving an interview. We shall see if they're going to change their minds. As of now, the US Embassy said, we don't speak on individual visas. So that's where they want to leave it. But anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. Do you think it's lawful to do this? I am Ongil Zalalem. 